So this is just a quick video to remind myself how to get LAC data into R. Um, if you go to the LAC data set website and click LAC data set, you'll find that one of the options to download the data set is actually in R format. Um, this this option is a bit out of date, I think. The, the script that converts the data set to our format is hosted on crunch and I think it's only got access to the old data uh, that's last year's aside from that if you try to use it with the new data set it will um, it won't work because the file names have changed and also if you try to download the script and do it yourself and change the file names it still won't work because some of the dependencies in Adam's script have disappeared from cram uh, so to, to get the data set into our format, uh, I've modified Adam's script and just run that on the data, data set, it's quite easy. So the first thing I'll do is just create um, a folder called LAC on the desktop. Uh, and in that I'm going to put the script and I'm going to put the LAC data. So I've created a folder called data within there as well. Uh, so let's download the LAC data. So this is the RDF dump that I've picked to download. Save that on the desktop. Uh, so let's extract that and put that into the data directory. No, into the data directory. There we go. Uh, and then in the description to this video, there should be a link to the Lace Tech Focus site where I do various things with Learn Analytics data. Um, and one of them is how to get that, the LAC data into R. <laughs> There's only three steps. Uh, but we need to get hold of the script that's going to convert the LAC data into, into R format. Uh, so Adam's script doesn't work anymore, but um, if you click the link on that blog post, I've done a slightly modified version that should work. So I'll just download, I might as well download the whole project as a zip. Uh, save that to the desktop. Let's extract it. And so in this downloaded project, we only need the R script, we don't need these Sparkle queries. So I'll just move that into the, the directory I created before. So I've got this uh, R script and in a directory called data with a capital D I've got the RDF dump. Uh, now why it's important to have the data in a folder with a capital D is because this when the script's converting the data we'll look in there for it. So we can open this in R Studio, which the latest version of R Studio just really doesn't seem to like my Mac. Come on, RStudio. Here it is. Uh, if I navigate in the file management bit of RStudio to that LAC folder I created before, uh, and then might as well set my working directory to the files pane. So now, now I've navigated there, I'll set my working directory to there and open the script. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do if you've not already got them is install uh, these packages. So the part ones are the RDF package, the R RDF package. Uh, but to install that, you have to install that from GitHub now because it's no longer in CRAN. So you need to you need Dev tools as well to install that. Um, and then once you've opened this in GitHub, and then if you need these, comment these out just press the source button probably get some warnings it'll go away and tell you some interesting stuff about the data how many triples there are the fan of my Mac's going crazy now as it tries to do some sparkle queries and then it's done uh, I've got an error message here. I know what the problem is, so I will update the R script so that disappears if you download the 
download this from GitHub. Uh, but so that this warning message shouldn't come up because I'll update the script. But what you should have here is um, these three uh, important data frames. Really, uh, we can have a look at them by pressing the little table. So the papers data frame has lots of information about papers. It's a huge, huge data frame. I think so. It'll take a while to load if I click this little table. I've got a spinning wheel of death. Come on, Mac. Uh, you can see you've got these um, these columns. And one of the columns, which is quite interesting, is the. I mean, that's the abstract column. That's quite interesting. But the. Oh, flipping it. Come on. There we go. The content column. So this has all the content from all the papers from. Uh, various learning analytics conferences and um, proceedings uh, and if you want you know, to uh, to explore that it's just papers dollar context is a uh, will get you access to that there's um, all sorts of things you could do uh, if you're interested in exploring the data set there's that I'm actually posting some of the some of the things that I've been doing on the LAC tech focus website so you can just um, just poke about that and that'll give you some ideas some weird graph type things perhaps you might want to produce a Gephi style chart um, hope that helps <laughs>